beautiful people welcome back to my channel it is becky the mommy <laughs> so my beautiful people okay this post of how to make kukuyam native soup is just more like a continuation of my previous post when i went to Pothako seafood market yes yeah, so so this fish you're seeing right here is the fish i got from Pothako seafood market now guys if you haven't seen that post i mean you need to see that post is one very interesting video you need to see don't worry i will drop the link to that post in the description but so make sure you see it so guys here i just pounded pepper onions with curry fish mixed together i'm using to steam the fresh fish if you've seen my post on how i make seafood okra soup i already explained there that i like steaming my fresh fish okay because i like my fresh fish very tasty because if you don't spice it properly it is going to end up being very boring and you don't want that in your soup okay so after taking the fish that i need to use in making the soup i just went ahead to wash the rest fish okay after washing i just packed them in a ziploc bag and you know stored in the freezer okay for next time use <laughs> okay guys okay, so here is my prawns it's the first third okay so i'm just going to take a few out of this to add to the soup i intend using the rest to make um tiger prawn sauce <laughs> watch out for that post guys it's going to be another interesting cooking video okay i intend doing that on sunday for my family i mean it's gonna be mwah. <laughs> watch out for that post guys meanwhile let me just take a few out of this place to add to you know my reverse native soup okay okay guys so now that i'm about to start cooking proper i just added onions again to this pepper i'll pound them together again remember i added crayfish the first time i pounded this 
So I'm going to pound everything together so I'll use it to fry my oil. And the reason why I can actually talk now without a voiceover, I mean without doing a voiceover is because my kids are sleeping right now. Okay, and Hobby as well is sleeping. I mean, today is Saturday. Okay, so um, that's why I can actually talk now. <laughs> okay, guys, let me do this quick. And I hope I finish cooking before they wake up. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm done pounding this. I actually have my palm oil already on fire. Okay, so let me just take this out and this properly okay so i'm gonna add this now to the hot palm oil which is already on fire i love frying my oil i mean guys it adds a different taste and aroma to, to the food Ooh, i just love the sound of that Okay, I already added this oil to heat up because, um, I mean, the oil is, is very big and very heavy. I can't hold it with this hand while I film, so that's the main reason why I added it first, you know, before going over to, to the mortar. Okay, I'm just going to increase this light a little bit. So while this is frying, I'm going to add just half to link you to this. And, you know, stir and mix everything together. I don't like stirring vigorously when I'm using, you know, iron stone to cook so I don't scratch the damp part of my pot. So guys, I'm also adding salt to this, okay, now I'll add water, hmm, the aroma of this is amazing, I mean, I love frying my oil, my palm oil, especially when I'm cooking native soup, I mean, our proper rivers native soup. Okay, so the kokoyan is ready. So. At this point, I've not added the fish. So I'm going to be adding one of these dry fish to the soup. Remember, it's called fisherman soup. As usual, I will use hot water to wash this properly hot water with salt actually mm. okay so now I'm adding the beans Wow, look at the face of my soup. So now I will start adding the beans. See, the soup is already thick. Hmm. Yeah, this is the leaf I'm using. Mm -hmm. It's called a zizal leaf. Mm -hmm. So guys, right now I'm adding periwinkle to the soup locally called 
Isam Amin in this part of Nigeria where I am from. <laughs> so guys, right now I'm adding Oziza. Okay, the soup is ready. Now I'm dishing this yummy looking soup. I mean, just take a good look at the face of this river state Kukuyam native soup. Ah! <laughs> i don't even know how to describe this soup i mean the taste was heavenly eh it was just something else guys <laughs> i mean every single spice every single ingredient used in making this soup was super amazing so my beautiful people if you enjoyed watching this video on how to make river state native soup please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel mm.